the show today, Marzen, what is this? Introducing the butter truck, shout out to Ken Garf Riverdale for hooking us up. We got that solid butter drip, son. Who else is on the show today? We got second fittest on earth, Kristen Holton. We're gonna catch up with her, see how talk about the games, whatnot. We also might get some truck fitness and of course some science, roll the footage. <laughs> About that truck, isn't that neat? So here's the story about how we got it. I'm driving to Marsden's. Yeah, come on, Gip, we gotta go. And then we'll probably time lapse, or we'll do some aerials, or just something to get us between like here and then back up to Ken Garb dealership. Let's get it. Hey, what's Let's up? Get it. How's Let's it going? Let's go get the car. Is that a Beyonce Bees jersey? Yeah, I'm wearing the Beehive, dude. Yeah. Explain what's happening, man. I got a message from this guy named Mitch. And Mitch, who you've seen on the show, I think briefly during 20.1, it's a fear of drawing on Time, 948-ish, I don't know what it is. Be rich. Be rich. Said, hey, my friend likes your show and he runs a car dealership. He wants to talk to you guys. And I said, give him my deets. Here's my email. Cut to, got an email from this guy. He says, I like your show. I like the way you dance in front of Matt Fraser's truck. What do you do when you find Matt Fraser's truck? I know. I also run a dealership, and I would like to give you guys a butter truck that you can now dance in front of that is your own. So we're pretty stuck. As you can see, I'm talking really fast, but I haven't even had my caffeine today. Four yeah, bangers. I don't know what kind of flavor you want. Four wanted, bangers you know? right here. I got four different bangers right here. What you want? I got a thermogenic model that's strawberry jalapeno. I got left on the cotton candy and the blue rats. Okay, yeah, you, know? you can keep your cotton candies. My taste buds are older than eight. Mine or not, I have no sense of smell. I think it reflects my taste buds. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're gonna go pick this thing up and we're also gonna do a workout with the with, with Joey Barnes. He's Joey the- Joey uh, Joey Barnes, Benny Burge, does TED Head Talks. Up. I will drive your truck Yeah. for the next X amount of months or whatever. Yeah, so. I might take it back next week. Who knows? Right, yeah, then we <laughs> okay, we're here. Oh, we made it. It looks like made it. it looks like it's right inside. I can see it. Gotta look it. sexy. Wow, it looks so much better in person. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. Joey. My goodness. Dude, this is amazing. Yeah. What's Seriously. up, dude? How are you, man? Good, how are you? It's good to see you. Good to see yeah. you too. This thing turned out pretty pretty it turned good. Turned out amazing. Yeah. I like how look at all these little butter sticks. This is amazing. Dude, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What I'm really, what I'm especially proud about, he, in your face. <laughs> oh, that is phenomenal. What do you think? Should we make a patch out of this guy? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Yeah. Patch it. You All right. This is, this is our good buddy, Joey Barnes. He hit us up just recently and he was like, hey, hey, I saw you guys dance with Matt Fraser's truck and it was all wrapped. Maybe we should wrap you guys a truck. So. What, uh -huh. Was that the was that, that was, the whole idea? I was it? I watched it like a few episodes, like ap it was a few in a row, and I was like, man, that truck gets a lot of attention. How do I get in on that? <laughs> Joey was like, let's get this thing wrapped, and we hood up, uh, hit up Jesus, Jesus, Chuchan Blues, and uh, he got answered this, our prayers. Got a, he answered our prayers. And this thing, did you did you think that it was uh, going right. to turn out quite like this? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, I already have some of the merch, you know, oh, yeah, I, yeah. you guys do sell, you know, Absolutely. the whole, like swipe up the merch. Yep. Um, I, I get it, right? Yeah. So like we got the whole truck merch now. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. So we're going to go get some, like a quick montage of like store one, two, three, Honda, Nissan, GMC, Buick. Right? Yeah, man. Can go off Riverdale. Let's go. Garth's a bigger automotive group, but I manage the Riverdale location, which is up in Ogden, Utah, a little about 30, 45 minutes north of Salt Lake City. <laughs> we 
have three stores up here, Honda, Buick GMC, and a Nissan store. And so that's who's sponsoring your ride. I mean, any of three stores, mention Buttery Bros, you're gonna get 20% off parts or service. Oh, 20%. So 20%, you know, it ain't 15. Okay. It's 20. <laughs> <laughs> And then as far as somebody needs a vehicle and they're looking for something new or pre-owned, uh, mention Buttery Bros and we'll get you an extra $500 off whatever your best deal 500 is. 500 bucks, man. Say, say Buttery Bros. Why wouldn't you? Oh, what? All right, people. We're about to work out. All right, so, you know, we're going to do truck fitness, you know. Truck fitness. I've fit. seen Sam Dancer doing it. Sammy Shout Dancer. out to Sammy Dancer. Did we're you see, hang on, pause. Did you see his, his litter box prep today? No. Roll the footage. I get some bands and I get some bands and my little baby. Calling it as I see it. That's a litter box. Oh, move. weighted litter box. I yeah. think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. He's doing real little yeah. slow ones. Yeah, a little slow ones. Like a, Got it. Who knows? Okay, guy's blind. Probably okay, so you programmed this workout. What are you talking about? We're talking about 21.15.9. Sandbags from the ground into the truck. Burpee into the truck. So you do 21, get out the way, 21 burpees. 21 burpees into the truck. Got 15, it. 15.9. All right. For time, should we change and I'll, I'll put on a new shirt? Sure, Three, you two, would. one. Pow! Oh, see, All right. Limited yeah, I already had shirts. one, now he has one. Check this out. Yeah, we got, we got 75 of them available on our website right now. Exclusive, limited, and then after that, they'll probably be on our site maybe later, and then yeah, our, RPM yeah, yeah. sells them Depending too. Depending on how but they go. But we got 75 only. Yeah. Limited dish. Is that a small? An extra small. Yeah, no, you fill it out. You fill it out well. Thanks. Oh, check it out. Joey's ready to go. Gotta stay hydrated. Gotta you know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. You guys bring water? No, it yeah. looks like you did though. Yeah, I did. All right. <laughs> these, these shirts. I love these shirts. You gotta break this in. You know, you go, yeah. I go, or All you right. go, Joey go, I go. I'll be yeah, the. Yeah. I'll be. I'll be like this. Yeah, right yeah, here. yeah. We'll we'll just put Joey right in between everybody here. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. There you go, bro. Get it. Did you start the GoPro? Nope. Start over. Start over. Take two. <laughs> Take two. Five, three, two, one. So there it is. There it is. The first rep. Always the best rep. Oh yeah. Let them know what time it is. This will be breakneck speed, man. Better Good. go for high frame rates Let's here. Let's not do a break knee speed. Three, two, so one, get up. You got a wet there it is, there it is. Go! Get it, Joey! Get it, Habs, break it in! Hey, honey! Hey! Hi! Easy. Steady pace, yeah. right? Ladies and gentlemen, Joey Barnes right here. Hey. Oh, burn. Burn? <laughs> Get him. Here he goes. Here he goes. We're in the final stretch, people. 715. 715. Time to beat. He smoked teams by over a minute and a half. 857. Hey 57, that's time to beat. 859. That was really hard. <laughs> oh! That is some. What was the worst part about it? Well actually. Box jumps. And the hair in the back of my throat. Yeah, somebody get this man a banana clip. I guess the one game win streak goes to this guy. You went at a breakneck pace there. What uh what do you think was the key to success? I tried to tried to go hard. Okay. In the, in the beginning. And then the middle. And then hard in the middle. And then and then and then I had to think. Oh. Long and hard. Long and hard. And then you and just then, brought her home. And I just went hard. Yeah, yeah. You hear that? Just, that's it, that's just the it. whole time taking it, <laughs> taking his first spin, you know. All right, let's break it down. Talk about All right, the. Whoop. Let's talk about the whoop. Let me say something. That Check was, out this data. Check out this data that, that was, I did. Yeah, that's good data. It's pretty impressive, sir. Yep. That Woo. was really. That was quite a bit tougher of a strain than I was expecting. Way Jumping more. up into that tailgate. Yeah. Woo. 
Let That's me say truck that. fitness. And then how about Joey just spanking us both? Yeah, just we came into his house. And he showed us how to cook in the kitchen. He was like, you know not in front of my kids. Yeah, making, uh, cooking with gas or uh, coals or whatever else. Butter. Great. All right, what was Red your loops. strain? 6.4 strain on the workout. I had a max heart rate of 173 for 130 calories. Hey, Jules, put my dad, put my dad right here. What do you think? Look at you. I mean, like, you know, uh, I didn't know you could strain the way you do. All right, all right, let's talk about the butter game. What about them? Let's jump into the most recovered person today. Matthew Bowater, his HRV is a 197. And Get out of here. His resting heart rate, RHR, 43. He's 99% wow. recovered. Well done, Matthew. Wow. He's living the... in the green. <laughs> well done, dude. His max heart rate in the last 30 days, his all time is 193. 193? His peak strain is a 16.9. Low and slow. Uh, he's out of Glasgow. Way to go. Glasgow. Welcome, welcome to, thanks for being on the butter game, Matthew. And uh, stay funny and cute. Remember who you are, what you stand for. Let's go, let's go talk to Holti, that, that second place. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. We'll go to catch up with her. Chris and Holti, roll the footage. Are getting hot on the griddle with Kristen Holta. We're gonna ask you all the ins, all the outs. We're gonna get to know you a little bit. We're gonna talk about your history. CrossFit said is Kristen Holta quietly assembling one of the best resumes in the sport with a 16th and 14, 17th, 12th, 7th, 7th, and now second in 2019. I think I was coming into the, that year's CrossFit Games more confident and knowing that I put in the work that I needed to be able to be uh, competing for the top spots. And as the first couple of days kept going, I was like, wow, this is going really well. And I just loved every single event that showed up. Why do you feel that, that you were less stressed this year when, when arguably the, the stakes were higher, specifically earlier on in the weekend? I thrive when it's when things get really challenging and you don't really know what to expect. You just have to go out there and perform whatever gets thrown at you. And I really enjoy that. And I enjoy that you have one shot. Yeah, so after three events, you're, you're up in the top there, like sitting pretty comfortable and then jumping into like Mary, you ended up taking second place on that and you were battling between you and Jamie Green and there was like a kind of a cool uh, back and forth there. I think I was so like stressed and I felt like so tired that I didn't see what was happening next to me. I went as hard as I could and the whole way. I went with straight hands and push-ups in all of my sets and I think that saved me a lot of time. If you're going to rest somewhere, you have to do it on pull-ups. Otherwise, you're not allowed to rest anywhere. <laughs> that, that was a good strategy. Let's jump into the next morning. The stakes are high. The sprint event. They're going to cut from 20 down to 10. Do you remember what position you were in and what the vibe was like out on the field that morning? I, mean, I don't look at the leaderboard, um, I, but I knew I was kind of safe going into that event to be in the top 10. I just felt so fired up because I've always wanted to be a 100 meter sprinter and I felt like this is my shot. I think after the first round, I was like, yes, I'm gonna win this. Green right on her tail, but it is going to be pulled down. And I remember like you coming through at the finish there and putting your arms up and it was a really cool moment that putting you in really good position to potentially end up on the podium. So going into ringer, the ringer events, though, that's kind of really what got you onto the podium and what so secured your spot. Switch, switch arms. Ringer one, you got third place. Walk us through what that workout was like. I'm always nervous, nervous about the soul bike in competition because I just know I have to go so fast and it's gonna hurt so much. And I remember like watching Katrin go off the bike and I was like, I have so many calories left. And on the last 10 calories, I just pushed with everything I had to get ahead of uh, uh, one of the other ladies. And when I finished, like I could barely feel my legs. 
I remember uh, walking down to the starting line for the Ring of Two event, and then three to one go, and then I took one step forward and my legs just couldn't handle the weight on my body. And then I was like, oh shit, this is gonna go really bad. Um, um, <laughs> I was like, birthdays and overs, well, that's two of my favorite movements. That, I'm gonna crush that. But uh, I didn't, I sucked. Obviously, you're shooting for the podium, but do you know like where you're at? You said you don't check the leaderboard and everything, anything like that, but were you like, I, I feel like I'm in contention for this silver medal? I was a little scared after Ring of Two that I blew like my shot to get on the podium. Seeing that the, the Ring Muscle Ups came up in the last event, I was, I was really confident that, okay, I got this. This is what I practiced the last two, three years. This is my event. This is the warrior, my cry girl event that I have to show that I'm gonna, I'm never gonna give up and I'm gonna continue work hard despite all the, the ups and downs. Yeah, and then so jumping up onto the little uh, podium place there at the end, you probably knew right away that you were on the podium and kind of explain that, like after, what is it, five or six years of working to get there, you, you finally achieved your goal. I expected this euphoric feeling of like, happiness and feeling like I'm flying like up in, in the sky but it was like oh, I did it it was cool I got terrible like my eyes were like wow all the work is the hard work and sacrifices and it's it's all worth it but what am I gonna do tomorrow what's next <laughs> so yeah so what is next everyone is like oh you got second you have to get first next year. And it's like, no, I don't have to, I have to get better. If I perform better next year, I'm going to be really happy no matter what placement I get. What do you want to be remembered for in the sport? I want to be remembered as a warrior or a krieger, as we say in Norway. Um, someone that never gives up and don't feel sorry for myself. And beyond all obstacles, manage to be successful. Perfect. Okay, sounds good. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show today, Kristen. Always been a big fan and, and look forward to seeing what you do next. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks, Kristen. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Just walk up there and... <laughs> Have this, you might, ever... this might not be the best idea. Have you ever heard the term, drink from a fire hose? <laughs> Let's give it a whirl. Are you These guys are excited. I'm doing two. So we just drop it in there and drink. <laughs> Uh, That's the solution? Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's freshly carbonated. Uh, man, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Are you ready? Yeah, three, two, one. I got a good... <laughs> <laughs> Why did that? I thought it would shoot more. Uh, get us some more Mentos. <laughs> <laughs> did you think it would shoot fire? Yeah, I mean, we keep getting these things. Julie! Hi, hey, Julie! Put some, uh, put some more splash in that. Maybe they shook it first. Well. So what do you call a science experiment? I think it's just called Mentos and Coke. Mentos I think and Diet it's Coke. A failed experiment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another failed experiment. Uh, Julie. Uh, that's the end of the show. That's the end of the show. Thanks for watching. Uh, oh, yeah. Can we do it? Shout out to Kangar for Riverdale. Can we? Can we? Roll the outro. Can we? Can we do it again? Joey, yeah. thank you so much for hooking us up with this amazing truck, man. I think this is the first time in uh, internet history you've seen butter on a truck. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever thought I'd meet so I think the buttery we... bro. Wow, there we go. <laughs> do we clean it with uh, just like Kerrygold or what do we do here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wipe sure, it? Make sure it's grass fed. Ma maple syrup, <laughs> you yeah. know.